The following video is brought to you by Yellow Jacket. Nearly 70 years of quality HVAC tools. All right, guys, we're looking at a Linux Air Handler signature series variable speed. Um, this is what we call where I work an operations checkup. This job was just installed, and about a week after every new installation, they send one of us, one of the service techs, out to do an operations checkup just to make sure everything's okay. In this case, we changed out the air handler only. We left the condenser. Uh, you can see our guys do a really good job. You know, we use one inch drains, float switch, another float switch over there. So, uh, we are one of the largest train dealers in the state of Louisiana, probably the second largest. But we did recently pick up Linux. I'll explain that in a later video and possibly on the podcast, definitely on the podcast, um, of why we picked up Linux as our second line. So we're going to open this thing up and check the heat strips and uh, just, you know, check over, make sure their hell is okay. All right, guys, we got 24 amps right there on the uh, 35 amp breaker which is a small wire circuit. And uh, we're gonna switch it over to the, uh, to the big wire. And as you can see there, we got 43 amps on the big, on the 16 amp breaker. So we have all 15 kW heat strip burning. This is not a heat pump. I know you guys are really familiar with me working on heat pumps. I'm sorry about the lighting, my lights acting stupid. I know you guys are really familiar with me working on heat pumps, but for some reason down here uh, in Lafayette, it's a, about an hour and a half away from where I used to live, for some reason the heat pumps are not nearly as popular as they were back in Alexandria. There is a lot of straight cool here with electric heat. I don't like that, but I have no control over it. Uh, nobody here does a lot of heat pumps. I haven't, I've only seen a couple heat pumps since and, uh, I'm in my second week. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. So we had an issue earlier. I did an operations check on a, another Linux. And uh, it had a 10 kW heat strip in it. And if you look right there, on W1, W2, and W3, it's got a jumper. Or either that or somebody put jumpers there, which is what you have to do anytime you have a heat kit on a 5 kW. Well, the other crew did not jump for W1 and W2, so they only had 5 kW worth of heat burning. The customer was complaining that his house wasn't heating uh, like the old unit did. So I just simply put a jumper between W1 and W2, got all 10 kW burning, and he said he could, he could tell the difference. So, uh, just a quick little uh, thing of how we do our operations checks. You know, just you can tell the unit's brand new. Variable speed blower motor. Uh, everything we do here is variable speed. We don't put in any PSC motors. Uh, rarely do we do an X13. It's mostly everything we do is variable speed. So, uh, anyway, just a little video of uh, a quick little operations checkup. All right, guys, here's a quick scoop for the end of the video of why we picked up Linux. I started uh, this. I'm in my second week. Linux was actually the first Linux system was installed the day I started. The reason, and like I said, we are the second to biggest train dealer in the state of Louisiana. There's only one other dealer that sells more train than we do, and it's in, and he's in New Orleans. We picked up Linux because we have so much train equipment out there. Guys, you got to keep in mind, you know, this is a different ball game from what I'm used to. We have three change-out crews that do a change-out every day. When we're busy during the summer, sometimes they'll do two a day. So, 
and like I said, we do nothing but high end equipment. Um, I've been here for two. This is my second week. I've seen one 14 sear leave the shop to get installed and you might, you know, but you got to keep in mind with a change out being done every day, you know, that's not a lot of 14 sear. Everything is inverter or at least a 16 sear. Um, so anyway, so all the air, but even with, with single stage, well, not with a 14 sear, they'll do, they'll do a, a, an X13, but we don't do any PSC. But it, even if we do a 16 sear single, we're going to use a variable speed blower motor. That's how they do things here. So all of our air handlers are TAMs. All you train guys know what TAM is. That's the model number, T-A-M. You know, but they're, everybody that knows train calls them TAMs. We have TAM 7s, TAM 8s, and train just came out with a TAM 9. The TAM 9s have a new heat kit. They don't have that, that stupid heat kit with the board on it uh, and all that. It's a regular heat kit with sequencers and stuff, which is great. But... Um, Another thing I'm getting used to here is that, it, you know, I, we didn't have a lot of big houses back in Alexandria. Most houses had one system. Well, it's rare that I go to a house here that only has one system. These houses here have usually two, at least two, three and four systems. Now, this house here that we just got done with, it only has one. I mean, don't get me wrong. Not every house is like that, but there's a lot of them. So, two reasons we picked up Linux. Because Train had some issues with the TAM air handlers. I don't know if they had the same issues with the GAMs or the GAFs, whatever they, you know, there was GAMs and GAFs. But the evaporator coils were blowing out. Like the, 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 the UBNs were like blowing and just dumping all the charge. It's a warranty nightmare. Well, customers were getting upset. And when they went to replace their second system, they would still use us but they requested a different brand of equipment. So that's the main reason why we picked up Linux. The second reason is, is the price. Train just keeps getting more and more expensive. Now our salesmen are giving customers choices between Train and Linux. So customers are now getting a choice between Train and Linux as far as the price, and we get a much much better price on linux than we do on train you know i've talked a lot of trash about linux over the years but you know the linux equipment is not horrible they just need to go aluminum because the only thing i'm worried about is the warranty nightmare like i had when i worked for that other company the i mean the evaporator leaks were just unbelievable but I know Linux is in the process of uh, moving to their cased coils when you use a gas furnace or aluminum. But the air handlers are still copper. But they, Well, I'll take that back. Some of them. Some of the air handlers we're getting with Linux are aluminum. Some of them are still copper. So the transition is being made. Uh, there's a lot more gas here than there was back in Alexandria. I'm seeing a lot more gas furnaces here, which I like. But like I said, when I was in the attic a second ago, uh, I'm not seeing many heat pumps. And I don't like that because I love heat pumps. I don't know why these, and it's not just this company. It's all the other companies. There, nobody pushes heat pumps here. They're putting straight cool condensers on electric heat, which I don't like because it runs up the utility bill. So I would, you know, I don't know what the deal is with that, but it's out of, that's out of my hands. I don't, you know, that's not an issue for me. I was, you know, I come and do these operation checks. I, I fix them when they're broken, and uh, it is what it is. So that's a little background on why we picked up Linux, and uh, it looks like they're moving a lot more Linux than they are train right now. So anyway, guys, thank y'all for watching, and uh, there'll be more videos to come, and we'll see you guys on the next one.